it in, but get okay, get one of those plastic bags. Because you don't want to cook the cream too long. Yeah. It goes in the beginning, but you added so much down. Like, you know, just started, you know, hoping, uh, Okay, I'll have just like, I'll just have David chill here instead. Okay, sure. We can chill here while I get more. Coffee. I need to chew up more. I mean, we can have around this. I need to chew up more after this. I got this. All you need for that rest is this. People on stream can watch me stir. Oh, now it's pointing over there. Oh, it's three in camera. Look, we got a lot of soup now. Uh, we can like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Can move? Yeah, we hella are. <laughs> it's hella good. Yeah, move, move, move. Let's get these out of the way though, so we have more room. <laughs> okay, so once that is simmer, bring it down to medium low. <laughs> okay. Is that What's it down to a simmer? It's oh, the oh, yeah. Back a little down. more. Yeah, what's it starts like bubbling like, like uh, gently. Yeah. Then you're going to get it the wrong way. You want a, you want a great cheese? Oh, right. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I always make that up. It's Halligan. It's Halligan. That is good. It's Halligan. Okay, this is safe. It's Halligan. It's Halligan. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Grading cam. Yo, 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 yo. Halligan. Work it, Sean. You're on the camera. You're on Twitch. Yo, and then we got... Oh, this one's not working. It's best to put more surface area to the grater. Yeah, yeah. What's happening with the biscuit over here? Uh, I'm going to put cheese in there, then I'm going to mix it. Okay. Uh, oh, we're online? Yeah, we're out online. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, yeah, that's hella good. Alright, then we got, we're going to get this David yeah. camera set up. Stove cam. In the works. You guys can see me stir soup. Yeah. Waiting for it to simmer. It's going to be hella good. I, I gotta I got post it in the menu. Should be okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yo, the the camera's fallen. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sean. What? You're too you're too vigorous, man. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. His camera's fine. Is this camera's fallen? Another camera. Yeah. We got two. This is the stove cam right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, this cam is hella good. This cam is hella good. <laughs> Whose cam is that? This is AJ's cam. People, people commenting your cheese grades. Yo, where's the port? Yo, oh, that's 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 hella best, <laughs> hella best stream on Twitter. No, 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 like not. Hella oh, best. I hope you get like randomly put on the front page. Oh, you know that means just like the fucking best. <laughs> Okay. Boom, 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 well, cause I'm configuring it. Uh, the camera is quality on that one. Pretty bad. You know what the hell is? You know what kind of primary is? Oh, okay. It's like this. It's probably you won't probably want to use this. Do you know what you should do? What's up? Just in case you get banned, you should put the AJ screen in the corner. Just a small little. No, they can't ban me for fucking streaming cooking. I thought it had to be games. They don't enforce that. They only enforce like stream, not hey, streaming anime. Just be like, I wanted to use Justin, but I can't fuck my Twitch. Yeah, they'll, they'll say something. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Do I have another cam I can add? I should. I should have this cam. The laptop camera. That's just yeah, but, like, it's not. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure what that is. I don't think so. It smells like poison. Oh, that's called poison. There you go. That should be fine. No, we should just have Brent um, play Fate Stay Night right now and, and dictate it while we're cooking. Oh! <laughs> How did you do that? I'm a wizard. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna add title oh, now. Like, like, okay, menu, 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 let's go. Oh, no. No, that is the opposite. Okay. Yo, what? It's like, where did you get that cup? Why can it not, like, be dead? It's so bad. That was the opposite. Ah, so fucking bad. Wait, try that control chip. Control with this. Shift enter. Try and shift enter. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, what? Oh, uh, yeah. Use HTML. <laughs> Shut up. Break. I could. I mean, there's an HTML option here, right? There isn't. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're Okay, so we got what do we got? We got uh we got tomato this Punko Panko. Yo, that Triscuit is too good by the way. <laughs> It was hella good. Yeah, it was hella good. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought I said soup or tomato bisque. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's what's next? Salad? Yeah. Salad. Uh, what is it? Hey, yo, what's our salad called? What's our salad? Yuji salad. Yo, title the salad. The Yuji salad. What? <laughs> Yuji style salad. Okay, okay Yuji style salad. <laughs> With what? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't even know how to spell it. Yeah. 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 I, right? G-A-R? Yeah. I think it doesn't have an E. Yeah. G-A-R. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's it. Vinaigrette, though. It would be a vinaigrette. No? Uh, oh, uh, oh, right. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, for some reason, it looks wrong, but I'm yeah, not yeah. sure. It's probably not vinegar. Vinegar, right? No. Okay, UG balsam balsamic salad. That's what's going Okay. Okay, it says balsamic vinegar. Vinegar, vine gar. Vine gar, yeah. Yo, what else? What else is in the salad? Walnut. Glazed or not glazed? Yuji style um, <laughs> ingredients. Walnuts and what? Walnuts and what? Yuji, what else is in the salad? He went down there to see if Clark Miller did not. Walnuts and what? It's just like something else, right? Yes, okay, it is it? pork. Yeah, it's pork, it's pork, it's pork. Is he allergic to water? He is, yeah. He is? Yeah. That's on the side then. Bro. What? Where do you put this, uh... I cleaned up stuff. Time goes for the pork, I believe. Oh, we might need it again. I mean, I guess... Yeah. Well, it's quite, I guess it's hard to put it again. But I can't, technically. It might be like... Oh, it's hard. Yo, this is like too much. Like, I'm just gonna write it, you know, I'm just gonna be lazy and like screen cap it. There's no pad time. Okay, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> True. That would be important. You want to simmer it? Yeah. No. Nope. Is he allergic? Let me bring it up a little higher. It's like a lot. So, oh, you all does, does it go to the I don't even know what to do it anymore. Do you want to go all the way? I don't think we need to go all the way. It's not that important to have a cook immediately. 
I'll tell you later. Tell me. Do I miss Combini food yet? Uh, no, not yet. Fuck that shit. Thank God. Yeah. Huh? Vinegar. There are two of them there. So no walnuts, Eugene. No walnuts. No walnuts. So what? What do I describe this as? Balsamic vinegar. What? Balsamic vinegar. What is that? What? It's just like grapes, cranberries, uh, cucumber salad. Okay. Um, tomato bisque. Uh, what? There's like some salad that you just gonna make with vinegar and Are you using it? What else? What? Are you waiting for it to like dry? Like, no, this is just, this is just, no, Are we using it? I I'll put it in the dishwasher. Right? <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, Mark, 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 no, put it in here. We're just, I'm never Put it in here. Okay, uh... Where? In here. So you guys make you that gravy? And what, you know, what do we call that biscuits? What do we call it, the biscuits? Cheddar. 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 Oh god, I can't see it. Cheddar Bay biscuits. Better Che biscuits. Better Che biscuits. Better Che biscuits. Sean Bay biscuits? Sean Bay biscuits. It's Cheddar Bay biscuits. Okay. I don't know how to spell biscuits. I think there's an R in there too. What? Shut up. Alright, uh, <laughs> Yo, what are we calling the pork? What are we calling the pork? Okay. Man, this is not Okay, if it doesn't fit, then put in the dishwasher. Yo, what do we call that, the main? What do we call the main? How come the bisque is like so normal? And not capitalized? I don't know. <laughs> it gets, okay. Yo, what do, what's in, uh, what's the name of the main? It's the pork with what again? It's fried, uh, fried pork. pork. Are you baking <laughs> Uh, like jalapeno, green, and green onion. Jalapenos. Jalapeno and green onion gravy. downstairs, I thought. This is like, 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 this is what, like, uh, what do you need? I'm putting biscuits on a baking sheet and we're putting them in the oven. Uh, check the drawer over there. It's not Larkat lar Larkatsu. Oh, you want, you want lar Larkatsu? Yeah. Oh! It's fine, it's not gonna fall over. Oh, you're right. Yo, whose phone is that? Oh, it's yours. Ah, fuck it. Got everything there? Yeah. Oh, wait, do we have dessert? Oh, we do. Oh, yeah, we have uh, cookies with it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm, dumb. Oh, uh, what are we doing? What, what, what are we <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> Sir, can we sweet fruit? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Alex, did we add the cayenne or the. Anything in the fist? Not yet. Kind of at the end, right? Uh, after the Yeah, I guess so. It's getting better. We're getting to the submarine. Yeah. 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 Mmm, smells delicious. I guess I wish it had salad bits in it. I like the smell yeah, of tomato soup. Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will You're test right? taste half of it. Ow, <laughs> Roof. That's true. Roof. 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 Yeah. Roof. Yeah. Roof. Yeah. 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 Roof. Yeah. 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 Fire is in here, right? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. bottom one. Yeah, bottom one. Okay. Taste like burning. Burger? 
Text. I can't because, like, oh, fuck yeah. that. I'm just gonna. Do you yeah. want pepper jack? It doesn't matter. Pepper jack is tastier. To eat by itself, I will. Is it spicier? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like freaking out. Let's assume it's freaking out. Someone calling like no, 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 who is that? No, no. Who, what? Oxy you want to sign up on videos for recipes? I'm just gonna eat it. You don't have to be a slob to eat it. Your man has go, man. You just wanted to be. Hey, 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 hey! No, 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 no. That's not for you. Come this way. This way. I don't want crackers. Yeah. No, you want crackers. You want to do something? You know, you don't get Boom! 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 Look at this hobo. Look at this is like a giant fucking slab. Look at the fuck. That's good. Oh god, that's a lot. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, what right, we got here? This is, yeah, we need to sh I'll show it in front of the camera. This is pepper jack, chili, spicy like pepper jack cheese oh, on that. a tomato on a tomato brisket. Tomato and olive oil. I think it's just about to simmer. I hope. Yeah, we ate three. And we ate all of them. Yeah. 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 Make sure you know what's going in here right now because it's just about to simmer. Well, how much? Like, pull it up. Oh. Is it to taste? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know, there's a recommended amount, right? Well, because we're expanding the serving. Okay. Just don't want to like wait, 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 like that. I see. I guess I'll leave it to you. Salt and pepper. I guess you can do that. Salt and pepper call in. That's it. Nothing else here. No. You might you might even need pepper and salt really. No basil. We don't have any basil. It wasn't in the recipe, but yeah. We should got the basil. You know. I, I'm just used to tomato <laughs> beans with this. Yeah. You know, this will probably be fine. Not though, a little. Whatever. Yeah. Beans will come a little weird. Mm -hmm. More. Oh wait. I went. Right up. Random. Oh, we need a we need a camera right here. What? What? Ready station. 
Okay, I just move this like to whatever forms. Because this is the only one that like. Because Yuji has like. I mean, Sean has this like. Uh, Shot. Okay. Hey Brett, you have one of those little things that I could like pour a little bit onto and then taste from it? Mmm. Like my leaves? Uh, that'll work, I guess. Sure. Okay, we're breading pork over there. Had to adjust the, the camera for that. Larkatsu. <laughs> Hey! 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 Just about to hit simmer, you could tell. Yeah. And from there, I just like saw stuff in. Yo, Jeff M, tell on. Same question. Tell Jeff M. Oh, really? Hey, Jeff. Tell get over here. Yeah, you should come over here. Oh, oh, Jeff M. Welcome him back by coming over here. Oh, I missed you evolution this year. We didn't get to go shopping again. I know. I think these are five frames and they're going to call it. Oh, yeah. Bigger frames? Yo, all helicopters. Jets. Helicopters and jets. Yeah. There's no jet pads in Vegas. Except that's not true. There are no helicopter pads here. You can't drive. You can't come over. Yeah, my place doesn't have a helicopter pad, so... <laughs> yeah, maybe if only we could, like, put this, if only we could, like, mount a camera up here. Maybe we just need to get AJ's phone cameras. <laughs> Hell wants to yeah. simmer any moment. Hell is like using ridiculously good cameras to show like empty parts of my house. <laughs> like the stairs? Yeah, no, like, yeah. I'm just no, the like, stair cam was hella good. I know. <laughs> it was hella good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to mount it over here somehow? Get some tape or something? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to do something like super dangerous, so like. <laughs> You still may want to get tape. I don't know, like, is this hot? No, that's not. Oh, uh, we may need to move it though. For okay, well, for now, this is pretty. Yeah. Okay. Yo, so any moment, should, we should start yeah. bubbling. It, it hella wants to. Yeah, we're already late. We're hella late. It's like 11. 
work outside. We've been on the work outside all day, but minus four hours. We start, we were like, let's let's meet at 11 in the morning. When did we have lunch? If I <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Lunchtime. You guys are lunch. terrible. Lunchtime, five a fucking clock. <laughs> okay, this is okay. Hey, we'll give one. Slightly less frog. No, but you were the one who made us all late, you faggot. Hey, whatever, man. Higher. You should have not woken up there. Wait, how much do we need? Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. How much do we need? It's your chest. A shot of me. A shot of you. <laughs> and, uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get people a shot of this bisque here. This is, this is... Look at this thing. Yeah, look, look at that shit. Mmm. 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 Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Mm. You can just use the uh, where it was before. No, it's a nicer picture. Yeah, it's just like, like hella quality. Because the one I have is like super ass. Yo, for $15, that's hella nice. Yeah, I, I, I really want AJ to lend me one. He's like three of them. <laughs> like a bastard. <laughs> Yo, zip car membership. Yeah, me. Damn, you standing hell still right now. Like, you were standing still. I thought, I thought it was frozen. I was like, is it frozen? <laughs> and I told the steam car, I was like, oh god, it's not, it's not frozen. I'm just looking at the suit, man. It demands intense concentration. What does it taste like right now? So we got Sean making the mix for the the cheese. Uh, what is this for the, uh, the the Sean Bay biscuits with cheddar? And David's still tentatively <laughs> stirring. No, I, I'm adding stuff now. Oh, it's, really? It was simmering, so now oh. I'm adding cayenne. Oh. All the cayenne. Oh, all the cayenne. I may have to get a second opinion on this because my my sense of. Spice is probably not similar to most people. I'll just be like, well, we made it last time, my mom was playing a lot. <laughs> but it was like hey, perfect. You were the one who made it that time. <laughs> I know, and it was delicious. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, exactly. See? <laughs> Whose side are you on? <laughs> hmm. There's like so much soup now. I need like hella cayenne. Uh, 
Tapping the cayenne shaker on the side of the pot because it wasn't really coming out that fast. Where's our sweet genius playing that? Oh, you want me to play sweet genius? <laughs> oh shit, it's on my hard drive. Okay, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right back. Inspiration. Genius. Have you ever seen that three dollar show called Sweet Genius? No. Clark, get over here. Second opinion. Can I get a third opinion? Sure. Level spice? It's good. It's like the uh, <laughs> like, I like I like the kick. Oh. Think, think it could stand to have more flavor? Yeah. And and like, like, I think it's fine like in terms of like salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he's okay. like, yeah, by the way, there's a theme, so you have to make it look like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like on one hand, I like the strong like spice flavor. But I don't like such strong salt flavor, so I'm just like, huh, this like fits my taste. You might need a little more salt. Let's get Yuji's opinion. Listen, I have a question for you. Yuji, what? Do you think this needs more salt? Try it. Jonathan says no more spice. And that's a double amount of spice, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. The cooking mama, I mean, uh, Women, maybe. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty scared of like putting my hard drive right here. Pretty scary. Right oh no, we're like at a webcam. You think Wait, it needs any like salt? Shit, okay, we need a salt. <laughs> personally, I, I, more kind would not hurt, but more salt is. I guess we're gonna have to stop there then. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Alright, that is our soup. I'm gonna put it on like low. Uh, let's see here. This looks like something that's a webcam. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'm plugging it back in with I know what you're doing. Yo, that would be pretty great if we were listening to Initial D while cooking. Mm. It's gonna be a little awkward to serve this, so I'm just gonna turn it off. Okay, yeah. Uh, we have a heating thing. Oh, we have like an entire pot. Yeah, I don't think we can put it I'm just going to turn off the flame and put the, the top off for now. And before we serve it, we can heat it up. Like a spark in the dark. Like a spark in the dark. Do you want to try? Yeah, Air Master, I'm in the States till uh, Thursday. Said no more. <laughs> All right. Okay, yo, I'm loading up. I'm loading up Sweet Genius. Oh, Episode 1, Dark Genius. Dark Genius. Oh, yeah. We can't get any crazier than this with what we already have. Yeah. Oh, God. This is not Go 
clearly fine. Probably just one obsessive menu. Exactly. 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 Okay. Yeah, I see why you cut down the middle. I was like, what? That's <laughs> it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh my god, we have to like extract this shit. Oh, okay. You're working on the salad. This is not salad. Ah, we have to like extract this shit. What? That's fine. It's fine. Incomplete. I actually don't usually do that. Yeah. Yeah. It does sound weird. But it doesn't sound like bad. It doesn't sound like bad. You kind of like dice it up a little bit. Like sprinkle a little bit on. We're going to buy it. We're going to put a hot thing in this thing. It has to be like... Like a dip, I guess. Okay. It's all said. You can dice up cotton Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. The exact size of desserts with limitless imagination. The result, magical, edible art. Oh, God, yeah. Our mission to find chefs who share an obsession with perfection. Four chefs will strive to see who can make the most amazing desserts possible. Oh. <laughs> to oh, is the dessert IQs, I have designed three diabolical tests to see who truly belongs in my world of desserts. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Be inspired by the wintering objects I have selected. Oh my what is god. The astonishingly created with the mandatory ingredients I have chosen. Ostrich eggs? Oh. Only one chef will so ask me on and earn ten. A thousand dollars. <laughs> I am a sweet genius. Are you? I am a sweet genius. I am a sweet genius. Are you? <laughs> I'm Michael Mignano, and when I want something, I go get it. I'm the chef owner of Main Street Bakery and Cafe in Port Washington, New York. It's an old-fashioned scratch bakery where I make everything from classic cakes to my own candy bar. Chocolate really is my strength. Execution is everything. A sweet genius knows how to execute from A to B. You hear that? Sweet genius knows how to execute A to B. My name's Lita Eisenhower. Pastry to me is an all-consuming passion. I am the executive pastry chef and owner of yeah. Sweet, a dessert bar in Worcester, Massachusetts. Before pastries, I was a whole other world. Fitness. The fitness world and pastry are similar. They're both very disciplined fields. If I do anything, I want to be the best at it. I feel that I'm a sweet genius because this is what I was born to do. My name is Salvatore Serpani and pastry runs through my blood. I come from a Sicilian family. My father is a renowned pastry chef. I learned everything from my father and I want to carry on his traditions. I am the only the executive pastry chef of Basashiro Bruno of Staten Island, New York. We specialize in Italian desserts, gelato, confections. <coughs> I have crazy amounts of skill level. That sweet genius title will be mine. I'm Michael Bowen, and I'm here to put pies on the map. Pies have an important place in desserts because it's just full of in memory and nostalgia. It's oh the all American dessert. It's just like, I am, I I am the owner of Baking Bars. <laughs> Oh my god. 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 O
Semi Fredo, what's next? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I like how you're the buns. It's like. Wait, what is this? Sweet genius. Okay, like, hot he's candies. a sweet genius. These tiny candies are made okay, cinnamon hot sugar candy. and cinnamon oil. Cinnamon hot candy. Which either That's gives a good sensation. Oh, this sounds like cinnamon, cinnamon hot candy. Hot I like that thing. Like it's a, it's a frozen chocolate. A frozen chocolate. Something else to consider? All the themes. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what? Oh well, he's all scared. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> my flashing, I don't know what's going on. Black. Just so he's he's not watching the inspiration for the first text is darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a clue how I am going to take darkness <laughs> and cinnamon hot candies and make a frozen dessert. Darkness! Why is what? No, that guy tells me. He's just like, oh my god. We just need like another yeah. monitor here. Darkness. <laughs> to watch this on our Darkness. We have another monitor. No. No, that's too much. Okay, cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Diamondian. Diamondian theme. Diamondian theme dessert. Cinnamon candy and darkness. <laughs> this is already gone. Three layers of hell. On the bottom, you start with the darkness. So there's a little chocolate gelato. First, I'm gonna boil the cream and make my eggs, and then guys, let me go a little right on the chocolate. You don't want to overpower the whole cup. As I'm working on that, make something red to represent hell. The cinnamon candies. Okay, there's my red. Today, the competition's for me, for me and my father. And today is my 26th birthday, so I'm, uh, it'll be extra special for me to win. So for me, darkness is all about trickery and deceiving. So I'm thanking Passion Fruit Ice Cream with a cinnamon hot candy sauce. It's two extremes. The other one is cool and refreshing, the other one is hot and out. For the cinnamon hot candies, I'm going to just melt them in milk. And then temper my egg yolks, add the passion puree, and put it in the ice cream machine. I'm very comfortable with frozen dessert in 40 minutes. Oh, it's at like 60%. Where are the balls? My mind is racing. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's chugging at this point. What it's does it's darkness plugging. mean to you? Darkness for me is mystery and surprise and also comfort. I start envisioning this small, beautiful ice cream pie with a chocolate cookie crust and a semi-fredo for something that's mysterious and sweet. For my semi-fredo, I add peppercorn, so I have this texture that is spicy, and I make a simple syrup out of the Red Hot candies. I'm taking darkness in a certain respect very literally in that the dessert needs to be dark. I know I want to do chocolate ice cream, but I'm going for deep and rich and earthy. I left the fitness world to go into pastry full time because this is what I love to do. Alright, Transform these ingredients into magical edible art. Magical edible art. Oh. I did go to history school, and so I see his books. I've been to his website. I value his opinion, so I want this more than anything. Um, once the gelato base cooled down, I put some candies in there, so maybe get the sensation of it. I decided to make a semi feather because it's not only cold, it's a little moussey. And our bakery, I take a lot of pride. And our gelato, a lot of pride in our semi feathers. I get the time. 20 minutes left for your frozen dessert test. Oh, come on. 
All the chefs are running around like crazy. Knock him. I sort of want to stand at a radar. Blackberry orcs. I mixed blackberry and puree with sodium chloride and alginate, which forms this skin around the puree. Hey, it's darkness, right? So, orange is working. I need a base for a crust. I grab the lady fingers, I add cocoa powder to them. Darkness is insanity. That's what it is. And suddenly, it is another mandatory ingredient. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm thinking, what is that? They're spiky and pink. I am in a state of shock. Oh my god. Rambutan is a fruit native to Southeast what? Asia. What? It's fleshy Rambutan. texture and a little bit of Make it very delicate. Well, I've heard about this. Go. I don't think I've eaten it. What? Rambutan. I have no idea what it is. I taste it and it reminds me of lychee. I decide that I'm going to fold the rambutan into my mousse. And then I discover the mousse is so heavy that it buries the flavor of this delicate fruit. This is madness. Absolute madness. This is your 15 minute morning chefs. 15 minutes left. Layers of flavor, so I do a blackberry sauce. I take the red hot simple syrup and blackberry puree, and then add the diced rambutan <laughs> into it. Rambutan, I've used it many times in the past. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is mix it with the broth that I'm making to have kind of a sweet, refreshing drink to coax you in for the cinnamon hot candies. I had never worked in Rambutan. I cut up to see what was inside. It's like lychee. All right, let's use it for decoration. You As I'm working, I'm saying, no one can got this. I think I'm okay. This is great looking. I have the crust. I have the filling. Now, I can be on this show. It'll work as a pie. Maybe it's my specialty because I love to connect to people through baking, through story. That's why I am a Midwestern pie baking drag queen. And I hope to present my story and impress Chef Ron. Everything's good. I want to do something great right here. So I'm writing instructions on the plate for Ron. So he'll eat the dessert the way I want him to. What? Give me what? Yo, you see your health. Guys, like taking chocolate is like great. And I can't on it. What? I love the concept. It's like an accident. Oh, gross. 90 seconds, chefs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is it. Step away. I look at my dish, I'm like, elsewhere. I'm happy with it. That represents hell of my eyes. It looks like darkness, though. I look at my plate. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> my it looks like this shit. <laughs> will be the reason I got home. Great prize. <laughs> I would move the computer if you guys are going to start frying. Chef Alina, yeah, that's totally what I'm eating. Good idea. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. How about you fry on that one? I can do this. I know. It's not guaranteed to miss your laptop, but it greatly reduces. Yeah, I'll, like, maybe. 
normally what you do when you fry, you get, you get like a foil thing that covers three sides, so it only will splash at you, or you splash it anywhere. Yeah. You may or may not have one. To me, the darkness also is associated with evil, the devil, fire, hot. Interesting. Because I used cocoa powder, probably, instead of chocolate. A bit disappointed. But your chocolate ice cream was very deep, very intriguing. I started with egg yolks and cream, and added the darkest chocolate that we had available. And we just went here like this. I did not go to school. Here? I mean, you're just fine with it. I still do every day. You need to really underestimate the amount of, like, area of oil to come. Drink me. So right now you're gonna drink blackberry worms with Ramatan. For me, the darkness is a trickery. Drink me. It grabs you in. It's creepy, isn't it? I see the evilness with the worms. That's the trick. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well played. I'm not the chef. Wait, 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 wait. I missed that. Wait, 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 wait. I missed that. We need to go back. We have a passion for ice cream. With wait, wait, wait. What the fuck did he say? The ice cream. Wait, what the fuck was that? Hold on, hold on. Cream cream and add it. Drink me. Chef Michael. Oh shit. Drink me. Hold on. So right now you're gonna drink blackberry. I need to. I need to plug this in. <laughs> Yeah. Drink me. Uh, it's just sitting here now. No, it's still plenty warm. We can heat it up if we need to later. It's not on heat currently. One more night. But um, man. Uh, does this have a fan? It's like a hood. I've only turned on lights. Right. I don't care if fan works. And I flipped before. like every switch. It wasn't challenging enough before. Red had to add trick with Ramatan. For me, the darkness is a trickery. Drink me. It grabs you in. Like everything is light. I see this with the worms. That's the trick. Aha! Second part. Second part. Second part. Second part. We have a passion for ice cream. I think it's probably this. It's not probably this. I don't hear a fan. The ice cream. Well, there's gonna be a lot of fries. Shit, I missed it again. Okay, go back. You need to open the window. Second part, I gotta open the windows. It's gonna get pretty smoky in here. I mean. Thanks for taking command, dude. Hey, Sean. I've been beeped. Oh. It's preheated? You had an all-star season, obviously, but you've also put together so far in the first half an MVP type of season since you came to San Francisco. What has been the biggest difference for you this year? Uh, yeah. okay, okay, I'm going to finally watch this shit. This is how, you should probably watch this. I hear this is how it rolls. What? Ice cream with a red hot air. The ice cream? Not too sweet. the back? There's a certain kind of fresh... So, preparing this, what, like, 
Yeah. Temperature do you think is good? Max and then general. How does it go? Uh, 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 like, uh, uh, mid? While it's actually frying? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, so the real truth is, depending on what you fry, the, 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 the Okay, 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 okay. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. For something like this, probably like a little bit more I started with egg yolks and cream and added the darkest chocolate that we had available. The way that I first learned in school. I did not go to school. No. So you learn in the trenches? Yes, I did. I still do every day. I'm expecting that. Okay, okay, here we go. Just Michael and okay, UG, it's okay if you drink me. So right now you're going to drink okay. blackberry worms like with rambutan. Okay. For me, the darkness is a trickery. Drink me. He grabs you in. It's creepy, isn't it? I see the evilness with the worms. Drink me. So right now you... Yes, I did. I still do. Okay, okay. you just watching now. Just Michael and... Drink me. So right now you're going to drink blackberry worms with rambutan. For me, the darkness is a trickery. Drink me. He grabs you in. It's creepy, isn't it? What is this supposed to be? I see the evilness with the worms. But that's the trick. Aha! Wait, wait, what was that? Why it's so hard to get? But that's the trick. Oh, it's creepy, isn't it? I see the evilness with the worms. But that's the trick. Aha! Okay, mid Second part. Second part, we have a passion fruit ice cream with a red hot air. The ice cream? Not too sweet. There's a certain kind of freshness on your plate. Like the bright colors were not what I would think about signifying darkness. Yes, but my whole thing is uh, trickery and illusion. I have a lot to consider. What? I don't get that. Chef Michael B. I have a cinnamon red hot semi fredo with a rambutan garnish and then a chocolate lady finger top. It's really darker, I guess. Plant. Rambutan is very delicate and it disappeared with the chocolate ganache. I realized that when I was plating. I wanted to bring that lightness into the dish. But why lightness? I requested darkness. <laughs> I think the darkness is in the topping. When we were working, I thought about Midsummer Night's yeah. Dream. How people go into the forest and it's dark, but there's this lightness that is discovered that's uncertain, maybe a little intimidating. You're not just a storyteller, you are a poet. Oh! <laughs> but the glade should speak for itself. <laughs> Chef Salvatore. You think of darkness, you think of hell. So I decided to do the chocolate gelato on the bottom, chef. Put the, the red on the top of the fire. I'm left with the full candy in my mouth. And it's frozen. I apologize, chef. This looks a bit like a birthday dessert. It is your birthday today. Yes, chef. How old are you? 26, chef. Baby. <laughs> the semi freddo is airy. Exciting. The gelato is rich, but I want it to come here. Taste Chef Alina's chocolate. Which one is darker? This one, Chef. She had more chocolate than I did in her gelato, Chef. So why didn't you put more chocolate in it? I didn't want to overpower the whole dessert. I don't have a duck bone in me, so I decided to do something a little bit lighter. But your chocolate lacked the depth to convince me that this is really hell. <laughs> Sweet genius is my calling. And after the tasting those desserts, like the depth I do not think that one of you hell. is on the same path. <laughs> <laughs> 
show is so good. It's the show. show is so fucking good. It was a like, complex <laughs> first test of genius. And it tricked one of you up. In that test, Chef Michael, you were no sweet genius. My plate did not reflect the story which I hope to convey to you. And I apologize for that. Thank you. I thought there was a part of me that would somehow impress Chef Ron with my dessert. But it did not come out. It's not just something I made, it's that part of so me, sad. and it's that hard. kind of hurts. <laughs> Chef, you have passed that first test. You are no doctor. The second test will push you even further. Yeah. Desserts. With that in mind, you will have to eat champagne. Champagne. Champagne is a French sparkling wine coveted for its acidic, floral, and bubbly notes. Its gas is introduced by added sugar, yeast, and a second fermentation. Look at this. Inspiration. A Fabergé egg. What? The visual Fabergé egg originated in the late 19th century when a Russian Tsar gifted it to his wife. Subsequent eggs were made with precious metals and the stones and a surprise in the center. How much more am I going to do? Fabergé egg. You would have 50 no, minutes it's for the test. Start it off. Fabergé egg. Fabergé egg. It's like a really fancy man with egg. I'm very excited about the Fabergé egg. It's inspiration. It's beautiful. It's luxurious. Oh, okay. It's elegant. It's I think <laughs> of doing so a custard tart. Something rich and custardy uh, and egg. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
this meat. I see waffles. I said, okay, let's make breakfast. Let me bake them a little bit, and then let's do a maple syrup champagne. We'll use that to put on top of the waffles. This is your 15 minute warning, chefs. Oh, God, I'm gonna make a mess. Not used to working like this. In pastry, we are bound by so many more rules. So I think that's where the genius comes in, is that you know where you can break the rules. The waffle, I take the diamond shaped cookie cutter and cut out the piece, and then I can caramelize that and make it crispy and crunchy. So I take out my financier and I realize it's really heavy and dense. Okay. Because I'm so I'm thinking of a cake that needs to be soaked. Really so what I'm doing is vanilla caramel. And I'm gonna add freshly squeezed orange juice and zest. So the sauce is gonna almost soak into the financier cake. Let me remind you, chefs, I want to see the Fabergé egg in your baked dessert. I really wanted to do different techniques. Let's do the champagne gelée inside the deviled eggs. I feel confident about my dish. My father will be proud about it. I love my father. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. To compete against Sal makes me nervous. I know his reputation. I know his father's reputation. I'm thinking I need more components. I know I need a berry sauce. I think raspberries because that's going to give me the most intense red, which the Fabergé egg is such a deep, intense red. Two minutes, chefs. Only two minutes left. The Fabergé egg. It's a jeweled egg, but fun at the same time. Then I think to myself, raspberry frozen champagne pops. So I poured the jelly on the anti-griddle, which freezes the product, and just smash the raspberry into it. That's a glass of champagne with fresh raspberries. Counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. When I yes, oil first. Next to the others, I really think I have a chance. I look down at my plate and I'm pretty happy with what I did. I look at Chefalina's dish and I'm like, wow, we have almost a similar custard in a cup. Let's see what happens. The ingredients for the baked test. Champagne and frozen waffles. The inspiration? A Fabergé egg. Which one of these chefs would amaze me with a truly scrumptious baked dessert? Chef Michael, where is the Fabergé egg? It is in the luxury of the dessert. It's a uh, rosemary financier with a sauce suzette. With the waffle, I made French toast. You have a champagne and gold leaf jelly. Tough to beat robbery. The financier was disappointed. I have to do it with less one. The French toast. Just a little less. Citrusy. The um, gelée. Intoxicating. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Can you tell me about those? The same champagne jelly, just frozen with uh, vanilla bean on a stick and smashed raspberry. It's not your everyday lollipop, but it's childish. Oh, the Fabergé itself is fun in my mind. When you open it up, it's a surprise inside. So my thought of incorporating that fun was with the lollipops. But the lollipops are not elegant. Chef Alina. Today I've made a custard tart. And there's a little raspberry hidden in the center, kind of like the surprise inside the Fabergé egg. <laughs> And then I made a pear and champagne sorbet to contrast the richness and the warmth of the tart. Bubbly. And then the waffle, I wanted to do something to it to change it somehow and not just use it in its form that it was given to me. Unpleasantly sticky. <laughs> I 
also want it to be somewhat classic because a Fabergé egg is classic. True. You have opinions. You have opinions. That the goals, the rights, handcrafted by some gentleman like myself that's in Patriot. So what I gave you today was different components. There's a puff pastry with a French eggnog custard. Let's start with the custard. You don't have anything running back there, do you? You're gonna try and run the water. In the 12 glass, there's a maple syrup made with champagne that you will pour over the waffle as a plate. It's very attractive to see half a devil deck filled with champagne gelé. That is genius. Thank you, chef. However, this does not mean to me luxury. It means home. No, the camera's not even back. I gave you the frozen waffles. Yet you sold it on the plate for me in its raw form. The waffles, when I did was I, I decided to toast them. I said, why take away from the waffle? A waffle is an item that anybody enjoys. The idea was to do something with it and still present me with an outrageous, sophisticated presentation. But I didn't feel like caramelizing, I didn't feel like French toasting. With all due respect, I disagree with you. Chef Ron, he's really gunning for me. Maybe he expects more because I have my family background. I'm not sure what his intention is, but just oh, keep bringing it on. Good. It makes me upset when I ask for excellence and instead I get the kind of dessert that one of you just gave me. Someone did not pass my second test of genius. Yeah. Chef Alina, yeah, right. you stay. Thank you, Chef. Chef Salvatore, yeah, yeah, Chef, yeah. next test. Brent, you gotta make more cards. Huh? 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 I believe the waffles the only thing that uh, we disagreed upon. Can you go up my family will always be the number one in what we do. Not to be the top dog is quite difficult, but you have to accept it. Chef Alina, Chef Michael, get ready for your last test. 60 minutes to make me incredible chocolate desserts. So I'm really, really stoked. Chocolate is the right drive. And this mandatory ingredient. Marigolds. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Marrow is a soft gelatinous tissue found inside bones. Depending on how it's prepared, its flavors tend to be unctuous, fatty, and even fruity. And what about the inspiration for your third dessert? Sand. Sand is a naturally occurring material composed of finely divided rock and mineral particles. That is a challenge. You would have 60 minutes for this test. Start a goal. Sam, the first thing that comes to my mind is Coney Island. I think of all the treats that are on that boardwalk. So I fillet the bone marrow and make like little mini hot dogs and just sear them in mint right. brown butter sauce. I know marrow is very smooth bone and marrow. silky, very similar oh, texture with the chocolate mousse. And I think to myself, let's make layers of milk chocolate mousse inside the chocolate cylinder. That will explain my mastery of chocolate. I'm nervous because Michael is a trained chocolatier. But I'm here to do what I do best. Wow, it is. I get what the marrow going. What the I'm not fuck? too intimidated by them because what? I use baking with chocolate. So oh it's kind of similar. No more. Oh, it's like this. Oh, 
The series is so tall. One thing I have done before is made dust out of chocolate. With tapioca maltodextrin. What are we putting in? Okay, chocolate stand. Tapioca maltodextrin binds with fat and it turns it into powder. What's it doing? Chocolate. Show me everything you know about chocolate. Well, all you want of the dairy element of chocolate. What I do is milk chocolate mousse wrapped in dark chocolate. I think my edge is my past experience. When I started at the Four Seasons, I was only 22, and I've been lucky to work with a lot of big name shows. I've never worked in another bakery in my life. I was never even trained by another pastry chef. Being self-taught, I'm very much doing it by myself. And I notice that the bone looks like driftwood to me. So I throw that in the oven. It has to be cooked to be edible. 30 minutes left, chefs. Present me with an amazing dessert. So I check my bone marrow and I see the fat in the pan. And I think I can turn this into bone marrow sand. You can make sand out of olive oil. What? 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 What have I got for you now? Coffee beans. Coffee beans are actually the seeds of a coffee plant. In its roasted form, it's a rather sweet overpowering, raising the bitter to over to even ashy flavors. So I know that in Latin American countries they do spice well, and coffee, and I think perfect. I infuse the bone marrow oil with the coffee. Coffee mix. This is great. I can make ice cream. We got white chocolate mocha. By using all three elements of chocolate, I'm really hoping to show the world what I can do. I want another flavor to introduce to the dish. I see peanut butter, so I think peanut butter sand. Peanut butter and chocolate are so perfect together. I'm really taking the sand theme and running with it. Ten minutes left. Show me who is the real genius. I make my cashew nougat, mix it well. This is the final round, and it's a lot of pressure. But you know what? I'm fine with the pressure. I need an actual dessert component on the plate, so chocolate mousse, I know, is very fast to me. There's not a lot of time left, but I realized I could brush chocolate on the outside of that bowl now, and it would look much more like cream. Oh, I think it means to be a sweet genius. It's about using magical techniques by manipulating uh, basic flavors. This is truly me. I have one more element of chocolate coral, which is basically a short dough. So it's got the crunch. I want to win this more than anything to prove to myself that I'm that good. Counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Time is up. I think I hit pretty much all the elements of Coney Island. You have caramel oh, nuts, Coney you Island? have milk chocolate, and you have dogs. What more could you ask for? I think Coney Island is a I looked down at the plate. It really looks like me. It's all the same that I really embrace the inspiration. Can, so, can someone mute the inbound sound for me? You mute the mute this one. Desserts. What? Okay. Oh, the chocolate okay, guys, it should be muted now, so it should be better. And coffee beans. The inspiration? Sand. Coffee beans. Sand. Sand. I represented sand in three different forms. The bone marrow is the first sand. The middle sand is the chocolate sand. The last sand is a peanut butter sand. And then the marrow bones represent a piece of driftwood. It's all things that I think of at the beach. Tell me about this part. That is chocolate coral. I put some rice flour in it to give it more of a sandy texture. That is hard. 
and I don't think it's very successful. I should now have bone marrow sand. This makes me happy. Furthermore, containing them in the bone that looks like driftwood, which I find ingenious. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh shit! She's gonna win. Yo, she's hella crying. Sorry. What? She hella started crying because she got complimented. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's, like, <laughs> he's just like, yo, Gigi, you missed it. She's like crying, he's like, Because I respect like, you. <laughs> 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 when she's all crying from that, it's hella good. He's well, telling like, so he's gonna Soon as I saw that sand, I thought of Coney Island. Yo, so I'll rewind and that for you, G. Every little element is sort of my interpretation of Coney Island. And I made little mini hot dogs. Inside we have milk chocolate mousse and nougat with cashews. The marrow should just pop and melt in your mouth. Well, it does pop. The mousse is lush and brings back memories of childhood and the beach. But where's the coffee? The coffee is infused with the ice cream. I thought of Coney Island. <laughs> Containing them in the bone that looks like driftwood, which I find ingenious. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Yeah, fighting words. Oh, fighting no, words. No, this is not the time to argue. You're interrupting you know, like, 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 he's like, I'm you no bitch. This looks <laughs> to me like a deserted beach. <laughs> as opposed to Chef Michael's, which look a lot like a beach that people gather in. <laughs> Two different interpretations <laughs> of sand. This decision is very difficult. <laughs> but alas, <laughs> I can only choose one sweet genius. <laughs> I hope it's the guy, the, the, the guy like better win. World Series, ninth Ooh. inning, bases loaded, two strikes, three bolts, <laughs> and the last pitch is coming. And he's trying to get out of hit a home run. A lot of pressure. If I don't get the title, I'll be very disappointed, because I think I do have a gift. Because he had broke out of the game. Because of who the judges want. Oh, she threw the game, which is pretty good. She threw it good now, right? It's not over. It's up. One of you has proven to be a superior genius. Mm. And one of you has not. You're right! <laughs> <laughs> you like, what the hell? <laughs> In that test, you would know sweet genius. Oh. He has that nasally voice. Oops. She's like, yeah, the crowd is best! Every Andrew? opponent was made masterfully, no, but I found no sweet genius <laughs> in your colleague's plate. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. What's most disappointing about the loss is that uh, I didn't win. 
Regardless of the decision, I am very capable of greatness. Oh, she I'm won. Yeah. I sacrificed a lot. I worked a lot of really, really long hours. That's what I love. I'm so honored. They, I was able to create things for you that you enjoy because I admire you and I respect you. Sometimes sweet genius is not about perfection. It's about creating for me a memory. And your dessert will live in my mind. Thank you, Sean. And you have just won $10,000. Thank you, Sean. In my first pastry chef, it has been a long journey. So winning the Sweet Genius title gives me another level of confidence. It's totally awesome. He's tasting a ball like me, Sally. Now, try to fit it all on here somehow. Oh, there's no ball. All right, next episode. <laughs> we just we just have enough. Oil. Next episode. Hard boiled it genius. Lighter, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that one. It's so good. Oh, you see how it's white? Right? 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 Masters the exact science of desserts with limitless imagination. The result? Magical, edible art. I'm on a mission to find chefs who share my obsession with perfection. Four chefs strive to see who can make the most amazing desserts possible. To assess the dessert I use, I have designed three diabolical tests to see who truly belongs in my world of desserts. Be inspired by the bewildering objects I have selected. Oh my god. The astonishing Eating with the mandatory ingredients I have chosen. Astrogenics? Oh. Only one chef will surpass them all and earn $10,000. <laughs> I am a sweet genius. Are you? Why don't you make the salad? I need a bowl. Oh. <laughs> My name is Brian DeMuro. I'm a mixed martial arts competitor and I'm also an awesome pastry chef. That's a funny thing, I think that's a fair assumption that I live a little bit on the edge. <laughs> I try to make extreme flavors in my pastry. I like to try and combine things that you normally wouldn't think go together and make them into an amazing creation. I would challenge anyone that says a pastry chef is a sissy to say that to me in a cage. I'm Trevor Burroughs, and I'm ready to be the next kid pastry chef. My day job is a project manager at a law firm. But it's not my passion. My mother talked to these two people when I was a child. I really thought that was a real talent for pastry. When the cash came with really be validation and prove them a real sweet genius. On this mailbox, I own my own pastry catering company, Sweet Genius Creations. I am proud and fun, and that's exactly what these little cake lollipops are. Being fresh out of culinary school, I want to prove to myself that I'm not going to win a competition like this. But I just got a clear effort, I just feel myself to be a monotonous. I'm a big fan of the artist and watch them from this I'm here to see if I can win the ten thousand dollars to be able to start my own pastry shop. But mad skills and good looks have taken me far. So I'm looking forward to being the next sweet genius. I think it's salty enough, but maybe can use some more. Ron is an institution in the cake industry, and his reputation certainly precedes him. Chefs that will be sweet tests, baked, and chocolate, each with her own ingredients and an inspiration. You all have proven expertise in desserts, but I'm looking for that spark of pure genius that sets one of you apart. First, you will have 40 minutes to make me a frozen dessert. For the minute, things don't get frozen that fast. 
It's like you and John. Put in your hand. Put in your hand. Put in your hand. If you could ever help it, you do not buy it as long as you Hard boiled eggs. That ingredient is mandatory for the first test. Oh my gosh. Hard boiled eggs, a frozen dessert. It's not something I'm comfortable with. And what else Genius. is they coming your way? An oyster with a pearl inside. An oyster with a pearl inside. This information works for you. No bread. The theme is an oyster with a pearl inside. Wow. Take an expression egg. Translating it into your oh, dessert, that's something I'm not too familiar with. So I am extremely nervous. Are you ready? Yes, chef. You will have 40 minutes for this test. Start the clock. Go. Oh, good God. My wheels immediately started turning. No. Pearls and oysters make me think of a hidden gem hiding somewhere. Think. So, I wrap a pastry, and I think that the puff pastry will be the structure for the shell. And that can make a semi Frito, which is going to go inside of it. That's my hidden gem. Just because I work at home doesn't mean that I can't turn out something extraordinary. I feel like Chef Ron is staring you down, so I'm extremely nervous. I want to do something colorful and tropical and somehow resemble an oyster with a pearl. Beautiful. The first thing that pops into my head is ice cream. Let's do strawberry buttermilk base for the pearl. Hard boiled eggs is a tough one. And I'm going to use the hard boiled eggs in a whipped cream. But I don't know what I'm going to do for the oyster. Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. I'm like a double in the mouth. Everything's real calm and cool on the surface, but beneath the surface, the feet are going a mile a minute. How can I get the oyster? Yeah, puff pastry here. I look over and notice the puff pastry. I'm thinking I'm going to make a shell that looks like an oyster, muffin tins, muffin tins, and then make an ice cream pearl for the center of the dessert. Chef Brian, did you find what you were looking for? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good, Chef. I'm thinking I'm going to win this. What's oh, this is going to fit here. Whether it's in the cage, whether it's in a strange kitchen, I'm always fighting. Jackpot. Uh, That's awesome. I've heard a couple of folks deserve As a teacher, I got to know a little bit of everything. I know I'm making an orange dollar here. With an egg yolk and the pearl. I like putting herbs with the citrus flavor. So I was like, this is going to be a good idea. And plus, kind of goes with the egg. Right, guys? Almost like a version of Chase Adams. Except you keep whisking and whisking and whisking it so it creates large crystals. Mushrooms are sure. in cakes. I haven't thought of frozen desserts since culinary school. It's always fun when you're in an odd kitchen. Not out of my comfort zone in more ways than one here. I get the base of my ice cream in the machine, but I'm thinking, what can I do with a hard boiled egg? I'm thinking I'm going to candy the egg yolk to give it a little crunch, a little texture. Normally, an ice cream base is a common place, which consists of egg yolks and heavy cream and milk and sugar. But I wanted to use buttermilk because it adds a tanginess and it makes it more creamy. Chef Jackie, what spices are you using there? Black peppercorns. Remember, I'm looking for genius. Black peppercorns go really well with strawberries. I want to blow it out of the water this first time out. I want to say, hey, this girl has some genius in her. I get the egg whites beaten to my stiff peak stage by Semi Fredo. And I decided I need to add a kind of creamy mixture. And I take Smart's Quick Cheese out. Yummy Ash Cream Puree. One of my favorites. Take my hard boiled eggs for required element. Mix it up together. I think my creative method is a little no, chaotic. Uh, I'm not going to have even started that yet. I kind of fly by sea in my pants in my kitchen because I'm going to use every freaking appliance in the place. So that will play to my advantage because I'm used to working in kind of a chaotic fashion. This is your 15 minute morning chef. Crap! 15 minutes left. Hey chefs, are you ready to adjust your plates? Oh no. That means an additional mandatory ingredient. 
Uh, additional mandatory like ingredients. I'm thinking, uh, oh, God, what is he gonna throw at me now? Oh. You know, even though it's no commercial, I find that this is like this little outro intro thing is really annoying. <laughs> what do we have here? No, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so disappointed in dragon fruit because I was introduced to the vitamin water first. And so when I got to it, I was like, the fruit is just actually red. Like, not the actual fruit itself. Oh, really? Like, the outside is. But, like, the inside is like white with dragon fruit. You can see. Oh, dragon fruit. It looks like taro. Dragon That's what dragon fruit looks like. Really? It's not like somebody who would have the creativity to be able to take that dessert to a different level. And I'm feeling definitely worth it on switching the battle. Carlo is an instructor at the school that I attended, so he's the one person in this competition that I need to look out for. After I put the pop pastry oven, I knew I needed something on the plate as well, so I figured I'm going to make a poached raspberry alpha. And when I saw the second ingredient as being dragon fruit, I figured, hey, I could poach this along with my raspberries. <laughs> I have no idea what you're to do with dragon fruit. How, how do you even cut one of these things? Like that, I guess. Since my mascarpone egg yolk mixture is kind of sitting there, I'm just going to add it in with the egg yolks. I'm in this crazy kitchen. Does anyone know where the ice cream scoopers are? With three pastry chefs who have 10 plus years experience on me, and I definitely feel like the underdog. The dragon fruit, I thought it would go really well with the strawberry buttermilk ice cream. I immediately scoop that out, puree it, and add it to my ice cream base. My idea is the actual ice cream inside the shell of the dragon fruit represents a pearl. You're getting close to your 10 minute call. Are those desserts of genius? Get in there! I noticed nobody can grab any of the ingredients for doing more of astronomy. Oh, sweet! I'm rocking here. I've got something that nobody else has got. Who knew I could do more of astronomy? My goal is to put something in the sand at the bottom of the dish. I decide I want to add to this a peanut butter powder. A little maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a chemical that will kind of pull out the fat. I was like, peanut butter and leaves with a powder. This is something that can really shows some creativity. Perfect. Chef Trevor, with five minutes left, are you on target? I believe so, Chef. Yes, thank you. There we go. Time to start plating the frozen desserts. I can see the time ticking away, so I grab my plate, run over, put the sauce on it, and it's still a little bit hot. Two minutes, Chef. Only two minutes left. Every tiny detail counts. All right, they're just about done. Do we have any other mint anywhere? I like to be very artistic with my plate. So I put down this sauce kind of like the ocean and with this runny thing in the middle create a little sand dune and then put my perfect pearl in the middle nice scoop nice big scoops of ice cream into the actual shell and this looks awesome i definitely feel i was able to translate the inspiration to the plate chef brian got a plate chef jackie is finishing her plate oh, crap. counting down Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. That is it. When I looked down at my dessert, uh, I realized that I really captured the oyster and the pearl look. Like I look over and I see Jackie's dessert, and I'm like. Wow, that's really impressive. The ingredients for a frozen dessert, hard boiled eggs, and dragon fruit. The inspiration, an oyster with a pearl. The atmosphere in front of Chef Ron is definitely tension packed. Um, 
my dessert today is a strawberry dragon fruit ice cream, and it's seasoned with some black peppercorn, and um, it's served inside the dragon fruit. Also, the topping, it's a whipped cream egg yolk with uh, mint, so enjoy. This looks messy. So your ice cream is the big pearl, yes. and the container is the oyster. The show, yeah. The actual oyster and the pearl reminded me of the ocean and something tropical and really fruity. What comes across is the tropical flavor for the strawberry and the peppercorn. However, something is missing. Your mandatory ingredient was the hard boiled egg. Yet this is the one element on your plate of dessert that is the least pronounced. Chef Trent, I have made a, uh, a passion fruit semi frito with a mascarpone egg yolk dragon fruit cream to go with it and place that inside of a puff pastry and sprinkle it with peanut butter dust. Your oyster? The oyster is the actual puff pastry. The peanut butter dust is to kind of represent the sand that the oysters sit in. Intense passion fruit flavor. I love passion fruit. <laughs> Intense ain't always good. The puff pastry is very light and airy, and it does serve as a contrast to the cream. But there are serious issues in your dessert. Your passion fruit mascarpone is not sweet enough. I hate the bitterness. Chef Carlo, tell me about your inspiration. I decided to create an uh, orange thyme granita. We was going to use that as almost like a sand situation to be able to put the pearl right on top of it. And I created a little bit of a sauce with uh, orange juice, sugar, the dragon fruit, and then a little bit of salt. The egg yolk sitting on sand, granita, surrounded by the ocean is an excellent interpretation of the inspiration. Where is the granita? I melted. Unacceptable. This was a frozen dessert challenge. You had a chilled plate, then you had some warm sauce, then you had a frozen granita, and because of that, it's not as frozen as I would like. Chef Brian, I made a puff pastry oyster with a vanilla bean pearl ice cream and served it with a poached raspberry and dragon fruit accompaniment. You also have a candied egg yolk on top of there for a garnish. Great idea. Good execution. I see the pearl. I love the taste. And I have the extra outer shell that I didn't get for a chef cow. You added something that looks a bit like a fruit salad. Did you want to transfer it? Did you transfer it? It does not take a genius. Someone's first dessert here was the last one they will ever make, for me at least. Black's first test, and one of you did not pass it. In that test, you were no sweet genius. I loved your peanut butter dust, and I loved your interpretation of the inspiration. But your passion fruit semifredo was disappointing. I understand. It sucks to be the first person on the video. I wanted to compete with all the other people who've gone to culinary school, beat them at their own game. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it's not the most disappointed, obviously. Oh, there we go. Chef, to further assess your dessert's IQ, the base 
Then you must factor these ingredients into your plan. All right, so oh my gosh. Are we done? All right. All right, we're done. Okay, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to like talk on the mic because the mic's here and I can't really move it with me. So I'll just be showing everything and then, yeah, you'll figure it out. Beats. You can, you can commentate, Eugene. Oh, commentating? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, hey, cookies. Looks very tasty. I, I want to eat them like an hour ago, but. Oh, milk and dark chocolate chip cookies. All right, here we have the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. The biscuits that you get at, what was it, Red Lobster, I think? Yeah, basically. We have some heads. All right, goblet, <laughs> goblet of salad. It is <laughs> grapes, cucumbers, um, assorted greens with uh, balsamic vinaigrette and feta cheese. And they're, okay, pork cutlets um, with basic pork cutlets, but very tasty looking. And we served with a an green onion and jalapeno gravy, I believe. Random people sitting at a table. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, in the aftermath of like all this shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go offline. I'll see you guys later. Bye, bye, Uji. Bye, Matt. Tell like every fucking buddy and like four people over there. Alright, guys. I'm gonna. We'll be streaming in like an hour after we're done eating. But I gotta move the laptop so we can watch more Sweet Genius. So, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Sweet Genius while eating some golf Yeah. Soup, yeah. So, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait, soup, 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 soup. Oh, oh, hey. Soup, 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 soup. What are bowls? Yo, we need to serve that shit. Okay, what is this? We also have a green onion and tomato bisque with cayenne pepper. That's basically it, I think. We've had it before and it's tasty. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back in like yeah. We'll we'll be back in like literally like an hour.